Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions. And today, I got another three-star character tutorial gameplay video. And we're going to be focusing on Paige, the raven-haired renegade. Now, she's been in the game for quite a while, but I never got around to making a video on her. And I feel like a lot of players just got her from the Undead Takeover Page Scream for Me contest on the Milestone reward. So I thought, what better time than to jump in and make a video on Paige? So, as you can see, she does got a gear. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. We're going to look at her coaching ability. She's going to be take less percent damage from yellow submission moves. So if you need a little defense against yellow submissions, Paige is your girl. Her links, Team PCB, receive 50% less damage from Black Gem. So that's huge defensive. Smackdown link, uh, start with one more move point. And Modern Era for 5% damage. Now the gear if you have the elf gear unlocked you're going to have all moves start with three more move points and that is crazy good right there like that's crazy good so she's a whole nother player if you have that elf gear she's lightning quick with that you can put a move point trainer on top of that then and you're hitting your moves turn one turn two I don't know, I didn't do the math actually because I don't have the gear so I haven't had to think about it that much and I'm probably never going to get that gear, but if you do have that gear, oh, she's really freaking good. Without the gear, she's still pretty good, but she's very specific in what she does. She's got a couple different movesets you can run. Now mind you, we are focusing on the three star level. I just put her up to three gold and her moves aren't up to par yet i haven't touched her moves or done any of her levels so she was a max three silver that i just hit the enhance button on and she's been sitting ever since first move set we're going to use the black submission pto place three submission gems and do 3802 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the board remaining submission gems turn into protect gems of strength 1710 then we're running double red moves the ddt eight charge deal 3592 damage and choose two yellow gems to destroy and the snap suplex eight charge deal 6000 damage and convert all protect gems into cross break gems now this move set probably your basic use against anybody but we're gonna say use against anybody that's not running black moves because if your opponent is running black moves against you then you're going to want to run a different move set but there's not a lot of women running black moves in the game rousey runs one uh maybe two depending on where you see her at nia Jax can be running two black moves um i think one of the bellas runs black there's not even a lot of people that run one black move let alone two black moves so I'm sure I was missing somebody, but it's a small percentage of females in this game at this point. Uh, on October 8th, 2019, there's not a lot of females that use black moves. So, this is going to be the move set for most of it. Now, there's two ways. Actually, there's more than two ways. There's a lot of ways you can run your entourage for this move set. Um, one thing I did want to do here. Put X-Pac on there. I forgot about that. So, trainers. First of all, um, there's going to be two, also two things to think about this move set. Now, I'm telling you, this is a three-star build. So, if you remember, the three-star meta is getting all of your moves in as quickly as possible because one cycle through the moves can win you the match at the three-star level. So, if you're actually picking on somebody, say you're attacking a three-star bronze or maybe even a three-star silver, I would use Sting with this moveset, and I'm going to show you why, especially if it's on the road or a tour. And then uh, DDP, because you want to choose more yellow gems to destroy. And my DDP is super weak, and he's only uh, giving me three extra gems there. So if I get him up to 5K, that'll be even stronger, but don't really need him much stronger than this. Now, if I was going up against an opponent that was equal or greater than me, and I thought for sure I was going to need to get through all my moves maybe a couple of times, 
I'm gonna run Bray instead of Sting because I'm gonna want to get my submission off. Especially when I show you the flow of how these moves work. The key is you have to use the submission first and then have both red moves charged when the submission comes out. So we also have X-Pac on there because matching red gems charge moves of that color by one more move point. If you don't have him at 9k, you won't get that advantage, but I have him, so we're going to use it because that's what you would want to do if you had that one coach slot with this setup. So let's get out of here. I picked a match for this. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is show you what I was talking about when I said I would put Sting on if I was picking on somebody littler. So let's go. This is an underleveled, on the road, hard mode 17, Alexa Bliss. She is a three-star silver. But the most important thing is I brought the shield props with, the protect gem props. What is it called? Built in a day? I believe it's called built in a day. Built in a day. Add three random protect gems. Now remember... This red move, the Snap Suplex, convert all Protect Gems into Cross Break Gems. So I think you can already see where we're going with this. We want to get that red charged early. Now, normally I would have taken the black there uh, if, this was, if I was expecting this match to go anywhere. But for this match, what I wanted to show you is, okay, so now we're going to use some built-in a days here. As soon as I get the red moves charged, I'm going to use some built-in a day uh, just to show you what you can do here. And I got a couple hundred of these props saved up. We never use them for anything. These props were designed back when, you know, there wasn't even three-star gold people yet. And so that little bit of extra that these would do would really help out. So I threw three of them. You see all them protect gems on the board? Now look at this. Boom. Snap suplex. All of them are cross break gems now. Every single one of them cross break gems. And, uh... Let's see if I can get uh, something to hit you. Oh, that ain't going to work. That's so dumb. Anyways, never mind that. I can just go boom, 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 boom. Start a little bit of a chain reaction there. Could have been a lot better. But uh, then props will let you turn all of them into cross break gems so you can get your stuff started right away. And with a good board, you'll feel your submission from hitting those. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Now, uh, I know in Showdown, you're not going to be able to do that. So, she's not going to be nearly as useful in Showdown when you can't just use your props to load the board up with those. Now, you can use her to attack way above her level sometimes, too, because you can blow the whole board up on turn two with her against somebody that's super stronger than her. And then you can have all your moves loaded again coming out of that and just start the whole cycle right back over on turn three. Okay. So now we want to go up against somebody a little bit harder than that. Let's go up against this Naya. She's 7720, so she's got me a little outranked here. And then I'm going to trade Sting for Bray. Because I want to hit the black submission first in succession here. Still going to bring my little prop with me though. Still going to bring it because Paige is like the one person that like I'm using those on. Okay, the submission's loaded. Now, charging red is going to be a problem here. I'm going to wait just a little bit on it, and I'm going to see what happens. They're going to drop it in for her. I thought for sure they'd do that to spite me. Okay, now she's charged. Okay, it'll be fine. I'll use a prop next turn. Now, what you would like to do is break black and red on turns one and two there, okay? And so, when you do the submission... Here's the key to this whole setup. You need to put your submission gems onto yellow gems, and they need to survive through the submission. So three turns, I need these three yellow gems to stay on the board. Okay, now she gets a turn, and my yellow gems are still on the board. Now I'm going to use a prop. Just because I want this to work for the video purposes, okay? I need these moves full. Oh, I gotta use two of them, whatever. You guys are worth it. 
I'm gonna use them. If I would have broken with Xbox on there, I would have had the four extra move points and we would have had this charge this turn. But I wanted to show you this turn before anything gets messed up on that board or whatever. So try not to cheat in my previews, but this time we're cheating just a little bit, just so you can see it. So the idea was you wanna do the submission and leave those protect gems on yellow. Then what you're gonna do is do the snap suplex and convert all protect gems into cross break gems. So now all three of those yellow gems are now cross break gems. Then you hit the DDT, choose five yellow gems to destroy. And since we had our protect gems just on yellow gems, now all of the cross break gems are on yellow gems. And then I'm gonna find a yellow like in that row cause that's not gonna get broken and that one. And then there we go, three cross break gems. Now we could have got a little bit of friendlier cascade there, that's for sure. Also remember, Naya's got us outmatched here. Oh, sure. Give her all the Cascades. And I'm going against what I said earlier. And I said if you're going against somebody using black moves, you'd use a different move set. But, uh... It's alright, we're making do here. We're making do here. So now you can see why I was, I'm pretty hesitant about her. Like she's not fantastic because the gem damage she puts out from blowing up the board with the cross break gems is not that high. Not like her male counterpart there. Naya kicked out on one. I didn't even get a real one count. And she's very board dependent because now you see I have no red, no chance. I'm not using a bunch more props. If I lose, I lose. I don't care about that. I just wanted you guys to definitely be able to see that flow of the moves. Now I'm about to take the full force of the Beal. And she's chucking a bunch of stuff. Oh, see, now I'm getting my Protect Gems broken. The good news is that I had Protect Gems, okay? That was the good news. Oh, I had red there and I totally didn't see it. Should be over next turn. Should be over next turn. Now, now it's blown. It should have been over. Oh, she's got that finisher ready. Paige might lose here, but that was the idea with the cycle of the moves. You want, uh, I mean, you could use Bray or Sting because you need to fill them both, but I think using Bray is more important because for one, the submission can save you from your opponent hitting you with their moves, and two, you have to use the submission first or none of this works correctly. Dang. All right, well, she's a showboat. Let's take yellow there. Oh, yellow, red, cascade. Is it possible? Is it possible we're going to get out? Oh, no. Nah, no way. Okay, so she lost, but seen how the flow of those moves was supposed to go and we were going up against an opponent that was greater than us and I missed that red match where I definitely would have ended it uh, if you pay more attention to your board than I did there you would certainly had won that match but you guys get the idea of how those moves work you want to hit the submission then you want to change the your protect gem I mean put the Put the submission gems on yellow then you go into the red moves turn those protect gems into cross break gems then use your ddt to destroy them you could also sub i mean there's a lot of times where maybe i got ddp on somebody else and i'll just put zombie owens on her and have my submission be seven turns instead of the three and or six turns instead of the three and that I'm only gonna, without DDP, I'm only choosing two, but there's usually not that, you know, only three cross break gems total without using props. And if I would've used props there to load the board on that one, that would've been over way sooner anyway. So, let's move over to the other move set. 
we are going to sub in the yellow moves instead of the red moves now we got the roundhouse kick the finisher 10 charge Yellow move, deal 12,000 damage and increase the strength of your protect gems by 972. Then we got the five charge, snapmare, deal 3527 damage and steal up to 2 MP from each of your opponent's black moves. So anybody running double blacks, you can steal 4 MP from them in one turn there and uh, you can keep loading that submission. Then after the submission gems will turn to protect gems and then the finisher will increase those protect gems. I know that was a lot take it in and you can even buff that because if you use them protect gems like I told you right before you use your finisher your finisher will also buff the protect gems you put down on the board from the prop so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go way up above us uh, where was this match at chapter 2 we're gonna go up against this 11,000 Naya let's see what her star rating actually is four star gold how much health does she have? Maybe I can't do this one. 312,000? Yeah, I don't know about that. I was just trying to find somebody with double black moves. I feel like I can't lose this match, too. She's the only one with double black moves, but I don't know how I can do 300,000 damage. Like, like, I'm only running a three star. I can't go against a four gold. It's hard. There's not a lot of choices on the women's hell mode. Because, I mean, if I go to Chapter 4 hard mode, the people are like 3,000 talent or less. This page is four-star silver. Only with the one black move, too. Well, let's go back over here and go against this Naya that we already went against. And I'll show you that since she has the black move, we really should have been using this move set against that. Those two reds with the sub, though, that is the set. And that usually goes way better. If you get a good cascade when you break them cross break gems, it's over with usually. Um, if you had a 9,000 Rikishi... You could put him on here, and then matching yellow gems would make uh, charge your yellow moves by one extra move point. So that would be something that would be helpful, but I unfortunately do not have Rikishi at 9,000. I'm going to go ahead and do the submission now, keep her ward down. And these are going to turn to protect gems, so I just kind of want them on gems that I don't think are going to break, maybe? Be nice if she pushed up yellow for me. Had it all ready for me to break on my turn. And did. Look at that. A row break at that. Perfect. Okay, now I can steal the 2 MP from each of her black moves, but she's only got one, but we still took the two MP from it, so we keep that down low on her. Uh, I got no yellow to break, I got no black to break, so now I look for purple or red to try and block my opponent. There was two purples, what are you gonna do? Protect gems are doing their job right now. I didn't take very much damage. What was that, like 160 damage on that? That's not a lot of damage to take. One damage there. She's struggling to hurt me. Okay, let's go ahead and steal the black MP one more time. Because I want some more protect gems down. So I'm going to hit the submission again. And see if I can get more protect gems than that down. Remember, my finisher is going to increase the strength of my protect gems by 900 and something. So, if I could get this up to 6, that'd be an extra 6,000 protect. Oh, broke one of them on me. So, I do have 5 protect gems on the board. So, we're going to hit this 12,500 damage and increase my protect gem strength.
Well, of course, she's got the way higher gem damage going on than me right now. And can't hurt me, though. Can't hurt me with gem damage. Gonna need moves, which she does have ready. But we're gonna get that submission nice and charged up again. Uh, how do I get that yellow gem in place? I don't. And now I'm going to pay for that because I can't hit the yellow yet. I needed to be able to steal that MP there. So again, you know, there's very effective things about her, but she's always crippled by, like, being so board dependent for everything that she does. Oh my. Look at this lucky. Oh, why would I do that? Okay. Get the submission down again. Long matches, y'all. Long matches when it comes to the women's matches at three star. Certainly long. kicking out of that and I should win the race back to charge here stay at the top of the board and leave it wide open here didn't want to drop nothing quite into place for her. go ahead and steal the black MP again and both of my moves will be ready next turn Look at the Cascades again. But my Protect Gem's doing their job there. Doing their job there. Look at that one damage. You want to submit? You want to get pinned? Let's just go ahead and roundhouse kick her head off. Okay, now remember I was completely outmatched by this too. I'm basically running a three-star silver here. And uh, attacking up against way higher gem output and way more health scaling to the people. And she still keeps up. I should have won that second match. Like I said, I missed that red break, and I would have been able to end it on the next turn. So, I don't know. What do you guys think of Paige? Do you got anything else, any other ways that you like to run her? Let me know down in the comments section below. But uh, I hope, you know, she's very specific on what she needs to do, and if you don't know the correct strategies to her, you're not going to get anywhere real fast with her. But uh, you can win some good matches, uh, you know? Let me know. Anything you guys uh, want to know, let it, leave it down in the comment section below. Like I said, if you got another way you like to run or what trainers you prefer. I know some of you were going to tell me to put Zombie Owens on there, I'm sure. Um, there's plenty of choices, but let me know. And until next time, if guys. If you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to give it a like rating with a thumbs up underneath. And hey, consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest content. Now, let's get into today's video.